I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Georgia Bulldogs. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Bulldogs. The Crimson Tide should win this game as long as they don't make many mistakes, right, Kirk? Alabama looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up. Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Kicks off. Number one takes it the 15. Can't wrap him up. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Four is the single setback. What? On the delay, he jumps him. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. They line up at the 30. It's second down. The Bulldogs line up with a single set backfield. He spins around. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. Number four gains about four yards on the play. That'll make it third down. from their own 34-yard line. Third down. The Bulldogs come out in a shotgun. He gets another carry. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. He'll be stopped just short of the first down. Close yet so far away. I thought he had it. Four and two. Georgia lining up the punt. Number three is back to receive. He gets it away. Number three takes it to 23. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Well, all week we've been hearing about how good this kid is at cornerback. What do you guys think about it? Hey, I tell you what I think. This kid is awesome. He's the type of kid who changes the momentum of the game in an instant from the defensive side of the ball. And you don't see that very often. You're right, Coach. He is very good, but the wide receiver on the other side of the ball is also very good. We'll see if he can keep this guy in check throughout the whole game.
Second and 13. Ball on the 26 yard line. Number 22 lines up as a single back. On the ground, up the middle. Brought down at the 28 yard line. Number 22 picks up two yards with the carry. the ball. No, they faked it. Looking, and they get the sack. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 18 is back deep to return. He gets it off. Number 18 takes it to 43. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the same page. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. to the back. Spin move. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Number four comes away with two yards on the carry. Second down. Eight yards to go. Number six, lines up with three receivers on his right. He rifles it to the right. Incomplete pass. Number eight was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it third down. They line up at the 47. It's third and eight. Georgia comes to the line with three wide. Nice play fake. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. And we'll take a break while the injured players attended to. Awaiting the punt. He gets it away. Number three fields it at the 17. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. Right. 
First and ten. Take over at the 21 yard line. First and ten. Time to play. Little shake and bake move. And he stopped behind the line. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call. Only because they lost yardage. I tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. It's second down and 12. Ball on their own 19. Alabama goes with the ace set here. Looks to pass. He passes it. Oh, great catch. That one worked pretty well. So it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here's a pitch, left side. He jukes it, and he puts it on the turf. Scooped up by the defense. How do you lose the ball there? I couldn't tell if the running back had it stripped or if he took a hard hit that jarred the ball loose. Doesn't matter. Either way, the other team has the ball now. Set up shop at the 35. Yeah. They'll work from the shotgun. Ah. Look at the throw. Breaks one. Steps up. He lets it go. This one is incomplete. Kirk, what was that? He just dropped it, coach. Plain and simple. That was an abominable drop. Abominable? Yeah, I'm not sure what it means, but it just sounds bad. <laughs> Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. The Bulldogs line up with two tight ends. Throws it out there, and it's caught. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. And a nice pickup through the air. I'll tell you what, fellas. I love this kid's throwing ability. He's got a quick release, and he's very accurate. They line up at the 30. It's third down and five to go. The Bulldog. Come out in the ace formation. Back to pass. Throws. Another catch. Way to look at it. The wideout made a good looking grab there. You're right. And the quarterback threw it as soon as he saw he had that extra step. That's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. They're inside the 20. Georgia will line up in a jumbo set here. Here's the option. And 
And he's tackled at the 17. Number four gets about a yard on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 17-yard line. Georgia sets up in the eye. And he takes a big hit at the 20-yard line. A great defensive effort. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Going with the shotgun here. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. The defender had it and then dropped it. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. Was it one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen? He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. I bet you that defender thought it was a pretty pass. Too bad it bounced off his hands. That should have been an INT. Georgia is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. Georgia to kick this one off. Number three. He kicks it off. Number eight takes it at the four. I don't think we'll see this offense get into a similar situation this time. So you think they'll convert on fourth down if they go for it again? Hey, why not? If you're having to go for it on fourth down a lot, you're not doing so hot, sweetheart. This drive will start at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Number 12 lines up with four wideouts. Look at the throw. Here comes the pressure. He unloads it. And he pulls it down. Brought down at the 46-yard line. That's the first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. Now, this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. Number 12, lines up in the shotgun. On the ground, left side. And they got him for a loss. It was a defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. So it's second and 12. Number 12 with three wide receivers. Uh, 
Hand off up the middle. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel, and he had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. From their own 24-yard line, third and 12. The Bulldogs line up in a nickel back. Fakes to the back. Looks. Throws this one out to the left. Incomplete. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Alabama ready to put this one away. Number 18, back deep to return. Punts the ball away. Number 18, fields it at the 27. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. They'll start at the 27. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. He drops the bat over the middle. And it's the tight end. They'll bring him down at the 48. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yep, and the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48 yard line. The Bulldog. Line up in an eye formation. Off balance row. Catches it. Ball came free. Defense says they've got it. And they do. The running back just lost the handle on that one. Look out. That ball flew out of there like a wet bar of soap. They'll go to work at the 49-yard line. Give to the tailback. He's tackled at the forty nine. Number 22 comes away with two yards on the carry. It's second down and eight. Ball right around midfield. Alabama will take a timeout. And that was their first timeout.
Two minutes left in the half. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. Great defensive play by the cornerback. They line up at the 49. It's third down and eight to go. Looking to throw. He's in trouble. And he sacks. Georgia just took their first time out. Crimson Tide line up the punt. Number 44 awaits the snap. Number 44 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Calls for the fair catch. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. The offense will take over at the 33-yard line. First and 10. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. Drop back to pass. Shakes off a tackle. He steps up. And he's hit as he throws. It's deflected. Number six looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 33. Georgia sets up in the eye. Play fake. Slips it short. He snags it. Didn't get anything. No gain on the play. Third down and ten coming up. Ball on the 33 yard line. From the gun. He drops back. Broke away from one. Rolling out to the right side. Got it. Down the sideline. To the 10. Touchdown. Hold on. He's on a different level than everybody else, though. He sure is, my friend. This kid is the real deep threat. He can stretch the defense and call it a lot of problems. The There's a flag down, and here's the call. And sports are on the Only on the so the 
kicker lines up for the PAT. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over a minute to go in the half, the score, Georgia 10, Alabama nothing. Georgia lines up for the kickoff, and it's off. Number three, fields it at the two. Just one tackler. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. The offense will start at the 24. First and 10. Alabama sets up with four receivers. He's looking to pass. And he throws right away. And it's intercepted. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. This drive will start at the 22. The Georgia Bulldogs take over at the 22-yard line. First and 10. They line up in an eye. Fakes to the back. Heaves a long one down the middle. Incomplete pass. Hello, sweetheart. Now that's how to break up a pass. That one had completion written all over it. But the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit to knock the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver catch that one. Second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Up in a 3-4. He throws it. Got it to his receiver. And he's taken down at the 14. The Bulldogs are going to take a timeout. That was their second timeout. From the 14-yard line. Third and a couple. The Bulldogs come out in a two tight end set. Setting up the play action, and they got it. Somebody came free there. Yeah, the linebacker shot through, and nobody picked him up. It was all over Kirk. He was the best quarter pick anywhere. Fourth down. This kick will be about a 35 or 36 yarder.
He gets it up. And they tack on three points. Seven is lined up to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number eight has it at the five. Juke move at the 30. Drove away from one. He made a good cut up field, got a few blocks. And they were able to come up with a decent return. That looked like a breakout and kickoff coverage. To set up Stander Lanes, they all started spring to the football. That's exactly what happened. You can't do that. They'll go to work at the 39 yard line. The Crimson Tide line up with four wideouts. First and 10. He looks, sheds that one. Number 12, rifles it. Oh, great catch. The Crimson Tide call a timeout, and now they've only got one remaining. Down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is Georgia 13, Alabama nothing. Georgia got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it off. Number eight takes it at the eight. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. Yard line. First and ten. Number twelve lines up in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Comes across the middle. Got it to his receiver. Tackle made at the 45. They brought the house on that one. And this kid shows a lot of poise and moxie in the pocket. He knew he was going to get hit, but he hung in there and delivered the ball with accuracy. First We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. Number 22 is the single setback. They'll 
giving off here. Still dragging guy. Tackle at the 48 yard line. Seven yard run by the running back. It's second and three. was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it third down. It's third and three. All right around midfield. Come out in the ace formation. Tries to juke. To the 20, to the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. The halfback got the carry and that defense to a score. He found some daylight and took off for six. And they line up for the point after. converts the extra point. So with less than four minutes to go in the third quarter, the score is Georgia 13, Alabama 7. Ready to kick this one off. Number two and number one back deep to return. Here's the kick. Number one takes it at the 21. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. up at the 42. First down. Number four. The lone back. Moves up in the pocket. Looking. He's going right. The linebacker picks it off. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's it. Athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. Well, according to him, he threw down a dunk in the high school basketball game. It was the play of the week on all local news stations. You know what's funny? I didn't get that in any of my notes, but you know what? I'll take your word for it. They'll get the ball here at the 35-yard line. First and ten. Yeah. Alabama.
Alabama comes to the line with three wide. He throws. Complete. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second and five. Ball on the 40. behind the line. Loss of one there for the halfback. Now it's third and six coming up. The tie set up in the gun. Fakes to the back, throwing right, and that one's fallen incomplete. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Here comes the punter, looking to boot this one away. Number 44 is waiting for the snap. Didn't get all of that one. Number 18 takes it to 33. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Number six, lines up with four wideouts. Drops back on first down. Second and long, ball on their own 28. Number six with three wide receivers, throws a bullet, it's complete. And they make the stop at the 33. Well, they pick up a few of the pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Third, Third down, 12. 12 yards to go. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. He fires. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 12 was the intended target. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Four, 12. 
the Bulldogs line up the punt. Number three is back awaiting the punt. He gets it away. Number three takes it to 23. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? They had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap it. They'll take over at the 26. Number 12 with four wide receivers. Looks, lets it go. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Just couldn't drag a foot in bounds. And it would have been one heck of a toe drag, that's for sure. You got that right. Second down and 10 to go. All on the 26 yard line. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Oh, man. He just overthrew him that time. Yeah, he just missed his man. Good play call. Bad pass. From their own 26 yard line. Third down. Alabama lines up in the shotgun set. He's looking to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He lets it go. Caught. Bounces off the would be tackler. Tackle at the 26 yard line. So there was just nothing doing on that series, and they go three and out. Give some credit to the defense there. They came onto the field, fired up, and they held their ground in that series. <laughs> Alabama ready to put this one away. Number 18, back deep to return. Number 18, punts the ball away. Number 18, takes it for 43. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. Start at the 46. Three man front defensively. Looks to pass. Wants to throw outside. Interception off the deflection. Intercepted off the tip. What a great play by the D. Way to locate the ball and come up with the pick. That is a great play right there. It was a great play, but where was the receiver? When the ball is tipped, the receiver needs to go after it or just break up the play. They'll set up shot at the 31 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Dumps it. This one is incomplete. He almost had him there, coach. Yeah, well, guess what? 
It doesn't count if you almost threw a good pass. Almost doesn't count. Sounds like a head coach talking. Yeah. It's second down. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Crimson Tide line up with a single setback field. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number eight was the intended target on the play. That'll make it third down. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 31. Three wide outs here. He drops back. Across the middle. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 44 awaits the snap. Number 44 hunts it and he didn't get much distance on it. Number 18 takes the 43. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. This drive will start at the 48-yard line. Four lines up in the deep back, I formation. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. He's under pressure. And he's sacked. Second down and 14. Ball on the 44. Georgia lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Stepping up. He tosses it short. Incomplete pass. He overshot his halfback that time. Third they line up as the 44. Third down. The Bulldogs go with the I formation. He drops back. Here they come. Ball is loose. Fumble. Recovered by the offense. 
Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. So at the end of three quarters, it's only a one possession game with the score, Georgia 13, Alabama 7. to punt this one away. Number 13 is waiting for the snap. He gets it away. Number three takes it to the 23. Number 12 is walking off the field now, and the trainers are going to have a close look at him. Well, let's hope it's not serious, but his arm's got to be hurting after a shot like that. will start at the 27. Going with the shotgun here. Look at the throw. Short toss. Catches it. Tackle made. At the 30-yard line, only three yards there on the throw. It's second and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Crimson Tide line up with a single set backfield. Looks to pass. He steps up. He lets it go. Into coverage. And the defense has it. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. You can't throw interceptions like that. You just can't. Take over at the 47. Ace backfield. Back to pass. He's going to take off. Excellent open field tackle. Second down and five. All on the 42 yard line. The Bulldogs come out in the shotgun. Back to pass. He steps up. He guns it. Complete. And he's tackled at the 34. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First and 10. Ball on the 34.
Georgia comes out on the shotgun. He looks to throw on first down. And there's a fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. This fumble puts them right back into it. You bet it does. Now they've got the football and momentum. They'll go to work at the 41 yard line. First and 10. The defense lines up in a dime. And off up the middle. A little juice. Taken down at the 43 yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. From their own 43 yard line. It's second and eight. He juice. Tackle at the 45 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Third and six. Ball on the 45 yard line. Alabama lines up for the shotgun set. He unloads it. It's complete. Tackle made at the 47 yard line. Number one picks it up. And that fumble is gonna cost them. At this stage of the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. I agree with you, Kirk. You just can't let somebody take it away from you in a situation like this when it matters the most. Well, I think they might have gone just a little too far that time. First down. You better believe they're going to be working that clock on this drive. The Bulldogs. Come out showing three wide. Looks like he's gonna run. And down he goes at the 46 yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Up. He throws, and he's got him on the run. He's tackled at the 40. Alabama calls the timeout, and that was their first timeout. Right. 
from the 40-yard line. First down. Georgia comes out with two tight ends. Gets the tailback. Brought down at the 39. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They line up at the 39. It's second and nine. Formation here. Gives it the tailback. And he stopped behind the line. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Alabama comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Let's it fly. That's incomplete. Thrown just a bit too far for the wide receiver. Georgia lining up the punt. Number 23, the return man. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Signals for a fair catch. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Well, the old kicker could stop warming up because it's four down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's time to try to make this a ball game again. They'll go to work at the 20. <laughs> Setting up play action. Number 12 delivers. What a pick! Oh, no, they really didn't need that. No, they didn't. And now it puts them in a situation where they have to get a stop. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. First and ten, ball on the 44-yard line. Georgia will line up in a jumbo set here. Straight ahead with the fullback. He's taken down. At the 42-yard line, Alabama will take their final timeout. Right. 
Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. Three man front defensively. They hand it off for Dan. And he's taken down at the 39 yard line. That'll be a gain of three yards. The 39 yard line. Third and five. Number four lines up in the deep back. I formation. just no daylight on that play and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. So this defensive skirmish is all over. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? This is why I'm up here with you guys. Coaching a game like this might give you a heart attack. Georgia really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one. Georgia, 13, Alabama, 7. With the coach, Lee Corso, Kirk Kirkstreet, and all the EA Sports team, I'm Brad Nessler signing off.